first match of this tough time that we're all dealing with. Of course, tumultuous times as for tumultuous and drastic measures, and we are going to bring them to you right now in the form of live darts. Not what you're used to, but you might as well get used to it for a little while because this is the new norm. Tonight we've got a battle of Ontario. We've got Jim Long versus Sean Brenneman. This is the CDC Championship League presented by Magic Darts in association with USA Darts Productions and in partnership with Dart Connect. We thank you all so much for tuning in. And of course, there they are live right now, Jim Long and Sean Brenneman. Gentlemen, it is so great to see your faces, even if it is virtually. Jim Long, of course, represented the CDC and Canada in the, the uh, championship over at the Alley Pally just a short 18 months ago. And Sean Brenneman, we anticipate we'll see you there one of these days. But I'll start with you, Jim. How are you feeling? How's everything going for you uh, in, in all of this madness? Uh, to be honest, things are pretty uh, pretty busy still. I'm not working. I've been off work for this is my third week. But uh, I am playing more darts than I've ever played online. Uh, matches every day. Uh, probably playing more darts, to be honest. All right, and I'll, I'll take that and piggyback over to Sean. Sean, I'm sure you've had some time in your hands as well. How have you been dealing with the, the whole pandemic and quarantine and all that stuff? And have you been playing as uh, much darts as well? I work in agriculture, so we're still pretty busy getting ready for the spring. But uh, first thing I want to say, I wish I would have known we were going to be on camera because I would have showered and shaved. And I see Jimmy's got his dirt shirt on, so I'm looking for a good match tonight. You know what? You know what? The dirtier, the better, because you are representing the common man, and Jim is just looking as 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 polished as we're used to seeing him. So, Jim, way to show the rest of us up. I'm in a hoodie for what it's worth, with a backwards hat. I haven't shaved in five days. I don't even know if I shower today. So, Sean, you're just fine, gentlemen. We're here for the darts. We're not here for the polish. So, um, but Jim, you look great yeah. nonetheless. But. Gentlemen, thank you so much for participating in this. Obviously, we were going to have another match tonight, and one of our uh, other uh, dart players fell ill. So we thank you for joining us on such short notice. And with that, I wish you both the best of luck, and uh, I think it's about time to get this started. So to all of you at home, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, gentlemen, best of luck tonight. You know the rules. This is going to be a, a race or the best of, uh, of eight out of 14. Uh, so is that correct? Did I get that right? That's, like that. that's a nod for yes. both. I'm going to say yes. If not, those are the rules now. And for you at home, you can follow on Dark Connect. We can make it up as we go along because, hey, that's what we're doing during a pandemic. Gentlemen, thank you so much and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A little bit of background about these two players. If you don't know them already, Jim Long is uh, he's 50 something. We're not going to even go with real ages anymore. He currently lives in London, Ontario. His hometown is Wardsville, Ontario. He is an auto worker. He is going to keep me alive, apparently, in his uh, speakers. So the reactions are going to be in real time, which is something broadcasters are not used to. He throws with uh, Swerve Darts 180 and L style. As for Sean Brenneman, he is 46. He lives in Princeton, Ontario, originally from Woodstock, Ontario. And going into this, I know I saw it on Facebook recently. Uh, Sean left, uh, lost a, a dear friend of his, uh, Uncle Dick, who was an, uh, an Akron dart legend. He was back to back singles, 88 titles, and hit a uh, ton of the out at over 85 years old. And I'm just happy if I could make it to 85. So uh, a shout out and, and uh, kudos to Uncle Dick and his legacy. So as we continue the warm up again, again, ladies Jim, and gentlemen, this you're ready. is your new norm. Now, Jim. Yeah. It's a green. Well, you're shooting for bull. Jim's got a green. Green and a green. Coming back to Jim. Now, of course, this is where you learn the value of trust, ladies and gentlemen. They're not there Green, back to back. <laughs> that is a red for Jim. Shot. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever oh, match the in the CDC Championship League. Best of eight. Match, Jim.
and Jim to lead off the CDC Championship presented by Magic Darts. Jim has me a little worried about speaking. He said he was going to keep my speaker up at the time. It makes me a little trepidatious to speak while the darts are flying, but at the same time, that's why I'm here. Sean Brenneman. Pounding out that 20 comes away with a ton. Sean Brenneman learning the, the secret arts, the dark arts of Dart Connect. Got music in the background. I hear a little CCR. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see how Jim? technology works out. Uh, this is presented by Magic Darts in association with USA Dart Productions and in partnership with Dart Connect. Sean Brenneman is also playing go. tonight with 180 kilobytes right, of modem. And of course, you'll have to bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We are figuring this out as we go, as is everyone in this pandemic and the, the art of quarantining. We're learning how to bring you live sports, but we are one of the few outlets doing it thus far. Jim Long coming away with what looks like an 85. John Brenneman dancing all around that treble 20. Knocked down one of them, though. Yes, looking out my back door is about all you can do these days when you're in a pandemic and under quarantine. Now, Sean Brenneman dancing all around the triple 20. Knocked down the first one. Darts with such force. The acoustics in the house of Brenneman so strong. Either man down to an out. Looks like a ton for Jim. I'll get the confirmation by a dart connect. And indeed, I was correct. So Sean Brenneman. I think we've learned a valuable lesson already tonight, production-wise. If you want to make your darts sound like they are an atomic bomb exploding, you put them on some sort of wood background or some sort of plywood, every dart's going to sound like an explosion. Now Jim Law. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant third dart out of Jim Long. Leaves him with a double. Sean Brenneman's not going to be able to pull this one out. That first dart had to drop into the triple 20. It did not do so. Comes away with an 85. It's up to Jim Long. Three darts at the double eight. A fan favorite from novice to professional. A fair marker. Trying to walk his way in. Oh, Jim Long, you know, with all the practice he's had in quarantine, showing a little bit of nerves here on live stream. There's the 19, now the 20, and a double tops for Sean Brenneman to steal it. Oh, just a bit inside. So now Jim Long with three more to go after. The double eights. And there it is, Jim Long comes away with it. All right, now, by CDC rules, gentlemen, before we continue, I'm going to ask you uh, to turn off the music, unfortunately. We can't have music in the background because it's going to ruin our stream because of uh, copyrights. Maybe this is a sign that they can't hear me. So an opening ton from Sean. Jim's hair and mustache are on point, but those opening darts were not. Now Sean Brenneman.
Sean Brenneman, whom I'm, I'm convinced lives in a cabin made of plywood, pounding his way to the board. Along with a 40, so. And there we go. The music has dissipated. So now we're back to the regular professional darts we're all accustomed to. With the exception of the pounding of Sean Brenneman's wood house. Now, Jim Long. <laughs> oh, beautiful round from Jim. So far, our biggest round of the night, a nice ton 40. We are notched up at 300, or at least we were until the next two darts out of Sean Brenneman's hands and at 85 to follow. Jim is finding his stroke after all. Leaves himself a ton 60. A gorgeous out by most accounts if you love your 20s, and you should. And if you love the dart, stand up. Not that anyone can see you, but we would appreciate it if you did. 45 there for Sean Brenham, leaving him the top possible out at ton 70. Jim Long now, looking for some magic. Look at Jim Long. Oh, just outside a ton 60 out. Tremendous darts from Long. Now Sean Brenneman looking to one-up his opponent. First dart perfect. Second dart just low. And the third dart into the bullseye. So now Jim Long, three darts at double top. Great marker with that first one. Second one drops just south over to double ten. And that goes just inside the wire. So it comes down to Sean Brenneman now. Is he going to go for bullseye double top? At this, at this point, the way darts goes these days, you never know. But I assume so. He will. He does. Now double top. Just inside. Double ten. Oh, Brenneman following Jim Long's lead. And now we are all notched up at ten apiece. Double five for Jim Long. Fair marker. Now he's looking to split the uprights. Oh, he does so, but just not south enough. Now Sean Brenneman looking to notch this at one apiece. If I'm not mistaken, that looks like a double. No, that was not. That was not a double 20. I was mistaken. He got a double. He got a single five and then a one. Forgive me. I'm working with the angles that I have before me. So Sean Brenneman down to double two. Will he get a shot at it? We do not know. We do now. That was a buzz from Jim Long. Sean Brenneman, double two to notch this at one. Looking to walk his way in. And there it is. Sean Brenneman takes the second leg. Both men holding throw as we go into the third leg. Taking their averages down a little bit. But that is sure to change. And to everyone watching with us right now, all 350 of you, we hope we get it up to 1,000 before this is done. So the pressure's on you now. All right, Jim Long, the pressure's on him at the Aki. Looks like he came away with a 55. All right, now on to Sean Brenneman, who has been finding his groove with the 20s. And all three of them were 20s indeed. So there you go. Look at Jim Long. Jim Long with our first maximum. Jim Long with a 180. Beautiful round from Jim. Wait, was it? Or was it 1040? I don't know. I couldn't see. At any rate, Sean Brenneman walking with monstrous footsteps. It was a 1040 indeed. I uh, stand corrected. I'll figure out my groove as a broadcaster as well as we go through this.
as Brenman coming off of the fantastic finish last game with paltry outs. Now Jim Long. Comes away with an 83. So obviously the angles are affecting me. I thought that was going to be a 61. Sean Brenneman now looking for our first maximum. And drops down brilliant darts because why in the hell would you want a 21 out? Leaves himself 24. Jim Long now. The treble 18, double 16, the standard finish. There's the first one. Boom. Second one nails it. Jim Long with the 86 out two darter. He holds throw, and it is 2-1. Sean Brenneman offering his congratulations with a nice shot and a nice shot indeed. So now it's up to Sean Brenneman to hold his throw. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to jinx it, but that is a 180, our first one in virtual darts in the CDC Championship League to presented by Magic Darts, Sean Brenneman pounding that triple 20 as if it offended his family and tried to spread the COVID. Now Jim Long trying to answer back, does so with an 87. Great darts by my standards, but not as good as we know John, uh, Jim can throw. So Sean answers back with another fantastic round. Jim needs a ton 80 because I will be broadcaster and color commentator as we go through this. Comes away with a 97 if my eyes don't deceive me. Sean Brenneman, who by my eyes, his dartboard turned into Super Mario for a second, but now it looks like they've smoothed out. And there's a nice ton, was able to split the uprights. Don't know how he found his way between those two darts, but he did. And a big round out of Jim, but not enough to leave him tuned out. So now it's up to Sean, treble 20. Ooh, he goes 33. Oh, he went for the double 14 and just missed, but he's going to have three more darts in it. Now it's up to Jim to bring himself down to a possible out. That is 107, Sean. 68. And this is where you appreciate the job of the scores, ladies and gentlemen. 14 left is correct, and we move on. That's right. Don't ever discredit your scores in any capacity, be it your local bar league or on the championship level, because it ain't easy. Shout out to all you math teachers out there. Sean Brenneman looking to walk his way into the double seven and does so with a third dart. And so far, ladies and gentlemen, they've been holding throw to a piece. Jim Long to lead off the fifth set or fifth leg, rather. Once again, this is the CDC Championship League presented by Magic Darts. And Jim Long with his first start, trying to ease his way back into the 20s. Jim was talking with us beforehand, said he's had a lot of time to play darts. We're waiting to see that form, Jim. We're waiting to see that. Sean Brenman. Sorry, I'm here to you know bust chops. We're here to have some fun. My loving wife, Julia, behind me just went, woof. Tough crowd, tough crowd. Redman now crushing the 20s and finding his outs. Now it's up to Jim Long to hold his throw and keep this back and forth. Again, to those of you in the chat room, we were going to have uh, a different match tonight, but due to extenuating circumstances due to health, uh, we we're fortunate enough to bring Jim and Sean in here. So we thank them so much for being a part of this. And of course, all of you at home who are watching, 
in quarantine. This is the future of darts. Should we ever be quarantined again? We know what we're doing after tonight. So we thank you all for being a part of this historic moment in professional darts in North America. There's a ton out of Sean, if I'm not mistaken. I am not mistaken. So Brenneman down to 180. Jim Long at 296. He's looking to find his stroke again. Thank you, Jeff Dodson, for the kind words. I am watching the, uh, the comments because I want to know if I'm going to be offended by what you guys have to say about my terrible commentary. given the circumstances. But I thank you for your patience. Jim Long needs a maximum right now. Did he pull it off? That is a ton 40, though, so that puts some pressure on Sean Brenneman. Sean Brenneman down. Does he go double-double? No, he's going to go skinny, fat, top. Boom, Sean Brenneman with our first break of the night. Takes a 3-2 lead and gets to go back up to the Aki. Brenneman with our first maximum and our first break. Fantastic darts out of Brenneman so far. I was going to say someone forgot to tell Sean that he didn't need to walk his way up the darts, and good thing he stopped at the middle rung because he opens up with a ton 40, putting some serious pressure on Jim Long now, only down 3-2, but Sean looking like he's putting his foot down on the throat of Jim Long as he gets a bounce out. Very unfortunate. So now Brenneman looking to capitalize. Angelina Lamboon watching for the Philippines. It is an international affair right now. Brenneman with the ton comes away with a 301 Jim Long now. For those of you watching at home, I told both gentlemen to turn off their speakers so they don't hear me with my commentary. I want them to play the best darts possible, and I want to be a huge smartass. Sean Brenneman now, 301 remaining. Looking to get himself down to an out is not going to do so, even with that triple 20 that just fell in. So now he's down to 201. Jim Long. With a 60. Wow. Brenneman now. Looking to take control here in the driver's seat. Looks like he came away with an 81. My eyes are getting better and better. That is incredible because I'm 40 and have a beer. Now Jim Long. Jim Long has a love affair with fives like the Tiger King does with that Carol woman. All right, now it's up to Sean Brenneman. Comes away with a ton. That'll leave him a double 10. Jim Long looking to break right back. Deep sigh. There's a 20. There's a triple 17. And that's a five. Thank you for all of you who, who caught my Tiger King reference. Yes, I know it's Carol Baskin. I won't say her full name because, you know, it's a live stream. Could be kids watching. Sean Brenneman comes away with the win. 4-2 now. Sorry, I got distracted by uh, the Tiger King. Who didn't, though? I mean, am I right, people? Once again, this is best out of 14. It is a race to eight. And if we are tied 7-7 at the end, we are tied 7-7 at the end. Each player will get one point.
That is indeed 96, Sean Brenneman, a sigh as he's trying to go through math. And to all of you who are homeschooling right now, I, uh, I must remind you, math is important. And if anything comes out of this pandemic, didn't we learn that teachers deserve salaries of professional athletes? Sean Brenneman, going back to the calculator. It was indeed a 96, and he got it. We are making magic happen here, courtesy of Magic Darts Incorporated. All right, CDC Championship League continues here in virtual darts. Our first attempt at this, so bear with us. I appreciate all the uh, positive commentary we're getting there in the thread Easy buttons. <laughs> one of the few times i actually get to hear the comments coming out of the uh out of the players as they they walk away and normally i get to see read their lips and try to figure it out with body language is that a maximum from jim long that is a maximum from jim long a 180 and now sean brenneman Looking to answer, watch out. As we all know, what happens if Jim Long catches fire? Jim Long, of course, 2019 CDC event number two winner. He's a two-time Canadian Legion singles champion. 2013 PDC Canadian Masters players champion. I mean, it goes on and on and... Sean Brenneman has made quite a name for himself in the CDC. Well-known in Canada, now a household name, thanks to the CDC tour. Jim Long missed the 19, knowing he's got another, or a nine rather, knowing he's got another dart to play with, left himself with a comfortable double eight. And now Brenneman with the monstrous fee five fo fum footsteps, steps up to the board and comes away 125 remaining, if and only if Jim Long does not knock down this double eight. And he does. One dart is all it takes. 23 grams, double eight. Boom, it is suddenly 4-3. So now they're breaking back and forth and back and forth and then holding Sean Brenneman to lead off our eighth leg. A ton for Brenneman. And to Peter Dobson, I, I'm sorry to inform you, it's, it's Colin Cosell and, and not Peter Cetera on the mic. But I am doing my best David Faraday. I swear to you, I am. And now Sean Brenneman comes up there with, looks like a 121. And indeed it is. So that brings him down to 280. Sean Brenneman is currently at the halfway mark to win this match. It is a race to eight. But again, if they are split at 7-7, seven, seven, so be it. Each player gets a point. That's a nice ton 40 out of Jim Long. Jim Long masterful with the dart connect. You'd think he's used it once or twice before. Sean Brenneman now with a ton. That leaves him with a ton 80. Speaking of ton 80s, I hit ton 80 the other day on my scale, and I've since been moving upwards thanks to the pandemic. Jim Long now. That looks like another ton 40. And I am correct. My eyes are getting better and better as we go. And the darts are as well. Not so long ago, the match, we were looking at 67-68 as the averages. Now we're in 85-86. To bring those averages up the way these gentlemen have is really very impressive. Sean Brenneman now leaves himself with 85. He will have a chance at an out. Jim Long looking to bring himself down to an out. Peter Cetera, I would have you in this booth in a second. And by this booth, I mean my kitchen table. All right, Sean Brenneman now going the 19 route on the 85. 
There's 35, double bull. Yeesh, just missed it. My call just as shaky as that board. All right, now it's up to Jim Long. Does he go double-double? No, he does not. He goes for the fat. Not once, but twice. And now on top of each other, going on top of that. Not good. Not good. That was a big miss by Jim Long standards. Brenneman, the nine, going for the double eight. He's walking up, and that is a double 16. That is a bust from Sean Brenneman, giving Jim Long a chance to tie this up. The excitement is overwhelming because I couldn't see it, and neither could you at home. That is a single 10. That is a double five, and we are tied at four. The excitement not only at the hockey, but in me trying to tell you what's happening in the game. This is the new norm, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know about you, but I'm having fun, and I hope you are as well. We want to keep this as professional as possible, but with also a little bit of levity, so bear with me. And for those of you who don't know who this is, I'm, I'm Colin Cosell. I, I do some of these sometimes because some people think I'm someone else, and that's fine. Jim Long with a 420 remaining. To all you stoners out there, enjoy that. Hope you're going to your dispensaries during these trying times. Sean Brenneman now. So, Jim opening with the 81. Brenneman with the 59 to open. Yes, there are plates clanking behind me because I'm in my kitchen and we're going to have dinner after this is over. So, sorry about that. Welcome to the new norm. 85 for Sean Brenneman. Mike Spike Seglio, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. David Garfinkel, you guys are awesome. I appreciate it. If I fall out of my chair with excitement, trust me, you'll know because I'm using earbuds and a crappy microphone. All right, now Sean Brenneman looking for a maximum. He needs it right now. Oh, right on time, Sean Brenneman. Yes, we know. That was a 180. <laughs> Jim Long now. Ton 45, can he take it out and put the, his foot on the throat of Sean Brenneman? He's not going to be able to do that, but he will have a chance at an out. Brenneman's going to be looking at bringing himself down to an out. So Jim Long leaves himself a double four. Brenneman with another fantastic round. Leaves himself 37. Pressure on Jim now to win three consecutive legs and take the lead. And just like that, with one dart, Jim Long does it. So Jim Long suddenly on fire. Sean Brenneman up for two just moments ago and is now looking to hold throw and notch this at five. We have surpassed the 400 mark in viewers. Which, if I'm going to see any number on my TV or on my computer right now with numbers going up, I want it to be viewers. And I'm sure you all feel the same way. Nice round from Jim Long opening up with a ton 40. Now, Sean Brenneman looking to answer back after a 60 to open. Trying to regain the steam that he lost over the past three legs. A nice round, a solid round, but not the round he wanted. Jim Long now. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at what was that? Oh, just outside. I know, I know. I saw it, Jim. I'm sorry. You don't have to point. It's okay. <laughs> nice round nonetheless, Sean Brenneman. 
with a ton. So Sean Brenneman keeping head to head, except that he let off this leg. So Jim Long kind of in the lead right now. Oh, gorgeous round out of Jim Long, who is caught fire, which is fantastic because he's up in Canada and it's cold right now. He can handle it. He's got a nice, nice, smooth, shaved head for him there. That's 85 for Sean Brenneman. Jim Long, let's we'll see if he puts on that clinic he did before with the 86. There's that first start. Eh. Uh, well, if you're just joining us earlier, Jim Long was able to take out in 86, but not this time. Now Sean Brenneman with a tall task, which he's not going to be able to accomplish with two single 20s. Make that three single 20s. Jim Long now, the double four. The suspense is killing us. And there it is. Jim Long lined it up, I assume. Couldn't see his form, but we know it was good enough to get it in there. Now Jim Long running four consecutive legs to, to take a 6-4 lead. He is two legs away from winning this match. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a match or a race to eight. It is best of 14. Ties are accepted here. Sean Brenneman has lost some momentum, lost a ton of momentum here. But that is a nice way to try to regarner it with an 83. So now Jim Long. Yes, Jason Oaks, that is what online darts looks like. A 59 scored. And the great Anthony Eugenia is joining us right now. I still have to record a call-up for him, but we'll get to that later. Right now we're in the thick of this. What's going on, Gary Ott? Nice to see you as well. And if either of these players have decided to uh, keep their volume on while I'm speaking, they are dreading it now more than ever. Now Jim Long looking for the maximum. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That is how you hit a ton 80. Sean Brenneman now. Darts that sound angry. And with every right, comes away with the ton. Now, Jim Long, not down to an out. Reassessed for a second. Went for the bullseye on that third. Jim now down to a 97. Two legs away from a win. Sean Brenneman now. Desperate need of a maximum. Not going to get it here. Definitely not going to get it here. This is a battle of Ontario here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the CDC Championship League presented by Magic Darts in association with USA Dart Productions in partnership with Dart Connect. Dark Connect has been probably busier than most essential employees around the world. Jim Long now. Just south. And that's okay. He's got plenty of time. Sean Brenneman needs a maximum. Decides to finally drop downstairs. And goes back upstairs. So some big darts there at the end by Sean who kind of surprisingly did not deviate away from the 20s, which is what most art players would do, but put some pressure on Jim now with a big round, a great marker from Long. Now a problem. I feel him eking to the left, and he did so in decisive fashion. Jim Long found his alleyway to the double top. Now up 7-4, Jim Law, one leg away from winning the first ever CDC Championship League match in virtual reality because that's where we live now. Thanks, Corona. Also, a shout-out to our sponsors, 
coronavirus, COVID-19, and of course, our good friend, the internet. Uh, and while we've got a chance right now, I'd like to give a big thanks to all of our first responders, our health workers, uh, everyone out there that is uh, doing their best to keep us safe. I know this has been a, a night of levity and a lot of fun, uh, but in all seriousness, thank you um, to everyone who works in the health industry um, and in hospitals and healthcare. Uh, we're nothing without you. All right, back to darts. And my smart ass commentary, here we go. Jim Long at the Aki trying to find the triple 20 again. He is no stranger to pressure. Hashtag alone together indeed, Mr. Eugenia. And a shout out to the entire CDC production crew, um, to obviously Anthony, to Peter, to Jeff, and of course, L. David Irit, Kevin Malenfant, um, Jennifer Mounts, everyone that's kind of helped to put this all together. Thank you guys for making this happen because here we have live sports and that's something we all crave we want some normalcy so thank you all for making this happen and for including me to ruin the integrity of these gentlemen's phenomenal darts with my horribly obnoxious commentary back to the darts right now sean brenneman down to 171 jim long at 302 needs a maximum it's not going to be happening with that first start But brilliant math out of Jim Long leaves himself a beautiful maximum out, that is, if he can pull it off. Sean Brenneman now gets himself down to 111. Jim Long for the match. Not going to happen. But at the very least, he can drop down and then come back towards the triple 19 just outside. So a 58, that'll leave him 112. Sean Brenneman now, triple 20. Does not get it, leaves himself 90. He's got to get that third dart, does not get that either. So now he's down to 70. Jim Long for the match, 112 remaining. That first dart doesn't hurt, leaves him 92. There's that second dart, leaves him double 16. And Jim Long does it. A beautiful third dart, 112 out. And in our inaugural CDC Championship hey, League, presented by Magic Dart, Jim Long. We should be playing a little more often, eh? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and talk over me every time, Jim. That's fine. I don't have a job to do. After an outstanding start from Sean Brenneman, Sean with a 4-2 lead, six consecutive legs out of Jim Long in this, the inaugural CDC Championship League presented by Magic Darts, the first match, an outstanding one without a doubt. And thank you to the 400-plus people that watch this tonight. We hope you share this. You hope you, we hope you let everyone know that there is live darts happening it is going to be through this very vessel, through the CDC, the championship dart circuit, not the CDC you hear in the news. Ignore that stuff. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for playing. It has been an honor and a privilege. Thank you once again to our sponsor, Magic Darts. Thank you to USA Dart Productions for putting this together with Kevin Malafont and David Irit. And thank you, of course, to Dart Connect, the ones that have completely revolutionized how darts is viewed around the world. Now to the players, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, come on down to your marks. Let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the match. Let's talk about the first virtual match in the history of the CDC. Jim, you were down four to two. Um, did you, first and foremost, did you have me on speaker? Could you hear me the whole time? No, no, I couldn't hear you at all. So it's just me and Sean. Thank God. All right. So, yeah. That's that was, perfect. That, that, thank you. That's, I wanted to get that out of the way before you unfriend me on Facebook. So um, with that in mind, 
you, uh, you, you had a very slow start to the night, uh, and then you're able to pick it up. Exactly what changed in your game, uh, especially when you're not able to face your opponent face-to-face, -face, you're in a comfortable zone, and you're able to, to turn things around. You looked uncomfortable at first, and then you weren't. What happened? Uh, it's all about it's all about your focus and uh, at first you know and I'm honestly I'm like that live matches it doesn't really seem to matter uh, where I play two out of three I'm pretty much doomed I I'm a slow starter so yeah I just you know I just got better focus as the match went on and uh, Sean and me are buddies we play like you know as much as we can I mean honestly I'd play the guy every day if I could and uh, it's just, I was just liking playing the guy and just playing and relaxed and, you know, just good times. Now, with that in mind, when it becomes a virtual reality kind of dart situation, and um, I mean, a lot of darts players at this point have grown accustomed to uh, darts connect and you're able to play virtually to begin with, um, which kind of brings, uh, you know, soft tip uh, on, on board with, uh, with, with steel tip um or rather vice versa but when you're playing someone when you're at a distance is there kind of an advantage a home field advantage for you outside of tonight's round or, or match rather uh well he's in his home too right so i mean we're both in our practice uh, places right where we play at home um but for me honestly the key is uh is to have like we had some audio I could hear Sean's darts hitting the board. So I heard one, two, three. So I knew like I was about ready to shoot. Uh, so it's like, a, it's a little more of a, at least feel to the game to at least hear his darts hitting, hitting the board uh, if you don't see them themselves. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, Dart Connect is fantastic. We got multiple leaks down here. And I mean, everywhere playing, uh, you know, with Facebook Messenger and Dart Connect and it's, uh, it's fantastic and you know you're just sitting at home i mean that's the difference that's not the same but it's different and that's got to be a, a kind of a surreal experience to have the sound of the darts happening and knowing that you heard that third dart and it's your turn to to go up to the hockey and not knowing the uh, the score until it comes up on dark connect and when i was talking about having your home field advantage everyone's got a home field advantage throughout this entire tour uh moving forward but Knowing uh, outside of all of that, just another caveat thrown into the entire mix, you weren't supposed to throw tonight. Um, we, we had one of our, our shooters fall ill and, and you had to step up. So what was that like? What was the preparation like? Was, was anything different? Uh, first of all, let me just say, you know, I hope Jeremiah's just got like a runny nose or something. I hope he's not really sick. Um, but um... Yeah, no, that was no big deal. Uh, I'm not working, so I'm home. And uh, you guys gave us like three, four hours notice. So it was like no problem at all. Um, you know, I, it was no problem at all getting ready. I was uh, just home anyways. And uh, Sean was quick to answer that he was available. So, yeah, it was no different at all. I mean, it was good. And you guys let all the uh, public know that we were playing tonight, which is good because I have lots of people watching. Fantastic. Well, yes, we had well over uh, 400 viewers tonight, and Jim Long, you put on quite a show, down 4-2, winning six consecutive to win the first ever one of these CDC Championship League matches. So thank you, and congratulations for being part of history, first and foremost. Uh, second of all, from one employed man to another, um, it's nice to be working with you, uh, so to speak, under these circumstances. We wish you nothing but the best of luck, the best of health, and we look forward to seeing you as this uh, continues. Thank you very much, Colin. Uh, nice to see and talk to you again after so long, and uh, I'm sure that uh, we'll be back on track. Hopefully in July, the CDC will be back on track again, but I just want to say thanks to everybody who put this together to give us the chance. I'm in my basement. I'm a little nervous. I'm excited. It's just such a great opportunity to play actual important meaningful darts from my home uh thank you very much for everybody all the cdc and dark Knight. excellent jim long ladies and gentlemen jim long your first ever winner of a cdc championship league virtual match 
taking down Sean Brenneman. And we thank you, uh, Sean Brenneman, for being a part of this uh, with your house made out of plywood that was loud. It was amazing. Um, every single dart sounded like a thunderous blast. And uh, thank you again to our sponsors, Magic Darts. Uh, thank you to our production staff at USA Dart Productions, Kevin Malenfant and L. David Irie, And of course, our friends over at Dart Connect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is just the beginning. We are just getting started. So sit tight, get ready. There are going to be live sports available on your TV, on your phone, and on your laptop. We've only just begun, much like the Carpenters once say. Everyone, stay home, stay safe, be well, take care, and we look forward to the next match. Until then, I'm Colin Cosell.